Hey, what's up everybody? It's Richie here with some magical redstone science today. And today I'm going to show you how to make a slime block water removing machine that's going to make emptying your temples easy. And of course not the temples in your head, the temples in the ocean. So the first thing we want to do when you're trying to clear out your temple is fence off an area with sand five blocks wide. Now it does work without this fenced off area. But for maximum results, do this, and that way all the water will be cleared. So now we're going to go down, go one below the surface, and place a piston. And then put a block right there, remembering to leave a space. Actually, don't put this block here. That was an accident. And then skip another space and put a slime block here. And then have a sticky piston facing in this way. Now what we're going to do is put a block here and here and another one here and here and then take four solid blocks they don't need to be walls I just think it looks cool when they are and then what you're gonna do is place a redstone block right there and believe it or not that's actually the entire contraption now if you just clicked on this you may be wondering why would I want to build this I mean if you want to clear water and you search this, you're presumably trying to clear an ocean temple or some other large body. But if not, I'll show you how this thing works. This is going to clear all this area very fast. So just take a sponge somewhere and empty the water around it to start it off. And as soon as it starts going, it will clear the entire ocean temple. Not ocean temple, but layer of water very very fast and you can see it's going along right here it's a very efficient contraption this engine originally was a um, not automatic engine but what's happening is the water is updating the piston every time and if you don't know what how this works basically the redstone block on top that keeps disappearing because of my lag that redstone block right there is secretly powering this piston through bud mechanics. But this piston isn't really sure whether it should be powered or not. So as soon as this is updated, it says, yeah, I'm powered. And several things can update it, including blocks, fire, and water. And then once it's updated, it pushes forward and pulls that piston back, and then if there's more space this piston pushes forward but unfortunately guys that's all I got time for today I know this was a quick little tutorial but I gotta get back to something more important which is clearing out this entire ocean temple on my let's play which actually if this comes out on Monday this is a secret hint for what we're doing in the Wednesday let's play so yeah thanks so much for watching guys I hope you liked. I certainly had fun and I'm currently having fun. But this has been Richie, and I will see you guys next time.